going to start this now. Quite a few people around. Already had a couple of, uh, let's call them chats, but potentially not. Depends on your loose definition of chat. Uh, somebody told me Mohammed wasn't dead, then retracted, and then started demanding evidence for the things that I was saying, even though I hadn't lied within our conversation. That got pretty boring. There's another guy who potentially needs his meds pretty urgently. He's uh, He believes that he's God has told him everything. Um, and even other Muslims are just disowning him. So um, there's Sai preaching, there's Charles. I can hear heckling for a change because Charles does love a little heckle. It's probably an atheist thing, I don't know. So let me see if anyone can be bothered to type yet. No, not yet, okay. Thanks for thinking about it. Right, so what I'm gonna do in a second, I'm just waiting for JC to turn up, which is in a South American five or 10 minutes. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so the video I did with Abbas that came onto Soko this morning, off camera or prior to it beginning to be filmed, he, I mean, obviously on camera as well, he called Jesus a liar. He said he would prove it. He was being really derogatory and, and confrontational, but in a smirky, smile in your face kind of way. And um, it's, it's my. Yeah, I shouldn't have let myself get irritated, but I was. I can tell you that for free if you didn't notice. Um, it like was threatening to blaspheme the spirit again um, and wouldn't let me answer him. Just kept coming with these really smug polemics that are quite easy to count on. But the sun was shining on my phone. I couldn't find the verses that I needed, so that probably played into it. But um, I did pray for him afterwards. And he didn't get to hear the explanation unless he watched the video, which is a bit of a shame. But he was still smirking afterwards, and he absolutely did intimate that he was uh, not solidly in Islam anymore. And now he's retracted that as well. But it's okay, because you're allowed to use tequila if you're, uh, if you're a Muslim. So, uh, I guess, let me see if I can... Thank you. He was a little bit harassing. He's taken the place of Sai. Um, I'm on the cycle path, so I'm not going to get run over just for fun. But uh, no, it's another cyclist. It's a very busy cycle path. Like they could go around. Right. Amen. Amen. All right, so let's see. Oh, that's a night boy in there. You all right? No. So let's, there's Patrick, Elvis, Shane over there. Uh, there's, I can't remember his name. That's so terrible. The American cowboy. I can't remember what his name is. Ha ha! I'm just live streaming. Do you want to be on there? Hello, family. There you go. You Massive hello. Uh, yeah, I just got told that Mohammed's alive, and then the geezer just swallowed his words when I started quoting the Quran at him. Mohammed is a liar. No, alive. I said he's dead, he's and he went, no, he's not. And I was like, where's the newspapers when you need them? <laughs> says so. You got some print out, are you? No, no, I'm writing down for Sister Hatou. Nice. Okay, I'm going to float round with this. Bye, family. There you I'm go. Very, very nice chat, by the way. Right. Now, there's no money in there. Don't be ridiculous. I'm from London. You're not an idiot. Okay, so it's John in the background waving. There's everyone else. Up, have love fighting at the back there. Um, Anyone want to tell tell us what's up? I don't even know. I'm not down with the kids. Um, there's Atheist Steve, probably planning a heckle on the phone. Love that dude, he's a very funny guy. Shame he's not saved yet. Yeah, let's pray for Steve if we can. So anyone have any questions or uh, anything, do let me know, because I will do a little bit of Jesus, because I do like to do that. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Okay, there's Christopher, I'm so pleased he's back. So if you remember from the, I think the old intro to the Soko films, films, like videos, there used to be a guy with a tabard on, like an apron thing that said, 
uh, Behold the Lamb of God. That's Christopher over there. He's an ex-Muslim and a very passionate Christian. Um, so yeah, I'm very pleased to see him. Yes. Yes, I can see Hatton, Maurizio, Shane, Elvis, Sai, Charles, Sammy, Abdul. I think he's called Steve, the American one, I'm not sure. Joshua is talking to the man who I was saying is potentially not all there in the head. Uh, there's James, Pavlov, Bloodfire. Uh, yeah, plenty. Thanks for asking. There's a little atheist corner over there. There's one Muslim. Christ is risen. The tomb is empty. For anybody who wanted to check. Okay, so maybe I'm going to stroll over to somewhere a little bit quieter and see if anybody has any. Hatton is here, yep. And she had a camera in her hand earlier. She was filming something. I saw a video recently where Hatton was told by the police she had death threats. Is it true? Uh, huh. Um. Yes, she's received uh, threats before and she's had threats carried out. Obviously not death threats, but she's not had it easy. Um, she was attacked on camera that time and she said, quite frankly, worse than that. Um, so we could all pray for her also. That would be lovely. Um, yeah, yeah, she's, uh, she's very driven and she's not really too fussed about stuff like that. She doesn't let it phase her. Uh, saying that, I think all of us have been threatened at one point or another, which just goes to show that the truth hurts. Um, can you imagine like being threatened for saying something about Jesus? Can you imagine? Like it's just such not, it's, it's oxymoronic. That he's still shady dealings on the farm whatever he's doing. Right, let's sit in the corner and talk about Jesus. That's what I like to do. Let me sit and then I'll be able to see the screen. Ah, Ender, hello. Hello, 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 love. Right, okay, this is a bit, a little bit grey, but um, never mind. Let me undo my jacket properly. And then, right. Okay, so it is... Easter for the Orthodox so maybe we could talk about that or anything you like really for five minutes but I'll still wait for uh, JC yeah come it's open again as you can see there's only like five police standing there like the Gestapo trying to be menacing failing miserably <laughs> yeah it's open it's not brilliant weather today it looks bright but it's uh it's quite cold actually, if I do say so myself. So I've, these are the things I've got planned for this month. I'm gonna debate apostate prophet. Hopefully we'll just have a chit chat and then a debate or the other way around. You should be good here, won't you? Yeah, I can. Okay, I'll, I'll do that in a second. Um, so that's that. Also, what else have I got coming up? Oh, I've got thrown now. Oh, shucks. There's somebody else I can't think about. I can't think now. Oh, the debate topic. And yeah, so hmm, I was thinking, yeah, it's it's yet to be decided. We were chatting about it last night, but um, I think maybe it should be something. I think I can hear John. I think it's gonna be something like, I hope, I haven't suggested this yet, but I wouldn't mind like the most detestable Quran verse, like, you know, arguing who's got the best, uh, like, terrible hadiths or something like that, because then we both actually win, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, I don't know yet. Um, my testimony, someone was just asking me about that. It's a pretty long story. Like, so maybe, I, I've ummed and ahed about making a video about it for a long time now. Um, because I, I wouldn't want to have to hold back, if that makes sense. Like, I'd want to be completely honest, like, include all of it. However, there's a little part of me that doesn't just want to give ammunition to, um, like, those people who don't mean, uh, don't mean us well here at the park. So, maybe, maybe I'll put it on my Patreon, or maybe I'll... I don't know, have some sort of restricted access or I don't know. Or maybe I'll just do like a, a YouTube light version. <laughs> but it's pretty, um, well, it's very amazing to me. Uh, yeah, I think people would enjoy it. 
It wasn't a like it wasn't uh just a textbook like sinner's prayer and then boom, you're all, it was pretty horrific in places. Uh yeah, spiritual attack and all of that stuff. So yeah, maybe I can uh I'll get on to that. I'm starting with university study again though and lecturing. And I'm going to put some older debates again that I don't think have got as many views as they should have. And I think they're really interesting. And I think also just seeing the difference in my stance. I was watching me and Mansell yesterday thinking, oh, my gosh, I was so polite. I just let him say stuff. But um, I think I must have been like trying to lull them into a false sense of security. Or just, I don't know, like a bit more shy. But yeah, so that's that. Uh, maybe in a second we'll go. If, yeah, if no one's got any like doctrinal stuff, excuse me, they want me to speak about, then maybe I'll just go and heckle something like take you over and we can do a bit of heckling. Is that usually? No, it's just someone with a deep voice. Right, any doctrinal Bible versey type stuff that you would like any. It, why can't I see the chat? Oh, there it is. Right, Nightbot is getting very involved. Very involved at all. Yeah, come back to the park, uh, Biblical Unitarian Christian, please. That would be lovely. Uh, right, what's Hatun up to today? I read uh, when I scroll back. Thanks, Biblical Unitarian Christian. Um, Hatun was filming somebody, uh, one of the guys up the ladder. I think it was Sai or the other guy whose name I, oh John his name is oh did you all hear about John oh, John right, right, Pastor John the one with the dog uh, Charlie <laughs> Andy you're funny um, yeah John Pastor John was preaching uh, in England uh, like a you know in a busy high street and uh, he was like he's in his 70s and the police manhandled him out of the way like it's really bad they arrested him yeah took him to the station he was released i think without charge because they accused him of homophobia and of all he was actually doing was uh yeah but it's, i don't even think he vouchsafed a personal opinion on lgbt and how many letters they put on the end I think he was literally just talking about the biblical idea of marriage. And I'm pretty pleased. Thank you, Skull Super. What a name. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, I think he got released. And I, hopefully he's going to be compensated for that because that would literally be Romans 8.28. Yes, it's a bit disgusting. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't like that sort of thing. Manhandling pensioners. It's all a bit like Stasi-ish. Right, let's go and... Let's go and have a little Mickey take. Uh, yeah, I think <laughs> I think whether you get targeted or not for speaking out against stuff has a lot to do with your age, your gender, your appearance, how threatening you appear and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah, I agree, actually. I'll amend what I said. Regardless of his age, it's still awful. But it's even worse when you consider that that could be grandparent like when you put that in the uh equation it just seems more do you know what i mean like he could have been bruised or fallen over or had some sort of attack i don't do you know what i mean like i just think it's really disgusting that they put their hands on him because there's actually assault really if he's completely innocent of any charges which presumably he is because they released him without charge so let's see what's going down in crazy town He's a preaching to himself, bless him. That's what Usman does a lot, by the way. He has a load of cameras around him and he's shouting away, but there's no one listening. Even the cameramen are just like scrolling through their WhatsApp or whatever. Yeah, there's quite a few people. You can see them. There's the uh, Federales over there. Just keeping the peace. I don't know where they found it or how they know, but um, that is them. Probably keep my voice up a little bit. Uh, JC's five or ten minutes is getting 
ever so slightly ridiculous at this point. Unless I'm slandering him and he's already here, but I know he's not. So that's Hatton. I just walked past. Uh, oh my gosh, he's gonna get it again, but so yeah, there's the beds. As it were. All right, I've come along again to another quiet corner. Let me see this live chat. Sorry. Oh, sorry, I used the wrong finger. Uh, thank you, Brett. Oh, Mrs. School Super. Oh, bless. Bless. There's a couple of school supers. That's so cute. Right. Um, kind of stuff. So. No Bible, no Easter. I'm trying to think what the sermon was today. It was um, Jesus being the vine, Jesus being Israel, um, and, uh, you know, the engrafting and the fruit, you know, and and the way that we, that we have to prune, and the Bible speaks about cutting off the dead branches uh, within ourselves. So it doesn't mean you are cut off. In the Old Testament, it was very often the person was cut off from Israel. But Christ tells us that um, other than blasphemy of the spirit, you know, don't try and do the other stuff just to test it, but you will be forgiven. But still, that part of you needs to be pruned out in order that the rest of you can be more fruitful, fruits of the spirit, as opposed to the flesh of this sin. Um, and still no JC, this is absolutely disgusting. I heard, I don't eat, really listen to... Oh my gosh, so people get very, very confrontational with the truth. Let me go and defend Sai a minute. Exactly, do not be a dried up dead branch. Well right, let's just listen to Sai for a minute. How do you know? Oh, oh wow, repeating it, it must be true. Is the spirit in you? Have you been to the off license? Okay, I really speak in tongues. Who are you to tell me what to do again? Yeah, you, clearly you don't understand what I'm saying. Excuse me, can I just, can I answer your question? I asked you, is the spirit in you? And then you start telling me what to do as if you had some authority over me, which you don't. No, I don't. So everybody, this is a psychiatrist that we have visiting who from three words of a communication with somebody can do more than a psychiatrist. And he's actually hateful because the truth hurts and you will be hated for my sake says jesus charles 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 okay that's a yellow card yeah yeah thank you very much cheers blow it in his ear roll absolute idiots idiots charles steady on darling um, so yeah, I think that's about the size of it really. There's someone else who loves me, saying look, look, look for attention. There you go, he has attention. He's the guy who lied earlier on and I said Mohammed's dead and he said, knee jerk reaction, he said no he's not. And I was like, but how about uh, when they waited for three days to see if he rose again and how about when he asked for a pen and paper on his deathbed? He got a whole deathbed scene. Apparently the Muslim is very well well read and learned in her stuff. He also said that when Allah said uh, to go to the Jews and if you're in any doubt about that which we've revealed, go to the people of the scripture, um, like to affirm it, he said, no, 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 that's uh, allegoric, did he say? Uh, yeah, he said basically that was only because he was sending them to the Jews and the Christians to prove to them that he was a prophet. And I said, <laughs> I said, how did that work out when they rejected him? And he started getting very carried away and couldn't find me the evidence. He said that that's a common, uh, like I asked him, was the tapsir? He couldn't find it. So I walked away and he got very upset. So now he's coming really close to me for attention. But I won't be giving it. Just so you can see. All right, let me read the comments again. David Wood. Oh, what a shame. Yeah, I think in that hot climate, I know that even today Muslims have, um, you know, like a very fast turnaround, as it were, after death to, I mean, the Jews sit shiva, uh, I think three days, 
Uh, Muslims, I don't even think it's that. I think that because obviously, if you originate, even though it's supposed to be for for the whole world, oh, I don't know if it is actually. But yeah, even if um, it's allegedly going to come to the Eskimos one day because everyone's got a profit, 124,000 of them. In hot countries, you do really need to inter the bodies pretty quickly. Saying that, didn't Mohammed go into a, like sleep in a grave with a dead woman? So yeah, I don't know how close to the surface these graves are or were, and I don't know how well they're covered over. So that's something to ponder, people, just when you're about to uh, eat your lunch. And um, I really do feel like going and just teaching Charles a lesson, but um, and maybe I'll get up on the ladder, but I'm scared like <laughs> that I'll fall off. But uh, no, Steve's getting back up again. Sorry. Sorry, Taylor. Oh, wow. Free to play. So free to play in the live chat is asking me, do I remember Taylor who was stand on scripture? I think he was the bearded bloke. He had a few different uh, names over the times. If he's coming to part, that's miraculous. That's a cause for celebration because um, I don't think he leaves the north or wherever he is that often. That would be nice. Hopefully. I mean, I don't think he's... I think he's going to find that he's outnumbered pretty heavily. But, but yeah, what can you do? Some of these people, they they don't even name their faith. Like, they literally, I think, it's kind of make it up as you go along with them. Yeah, and uh, good, good luck to you. Like, that's a wise decision. I think it's very... Like, there's no, like, biblical reason why, why we can't be around like uh, people who may hold heretical views or stuff like that, because obviously God desires that none should perish. However, <laughs> there's a limit. And especially if you're like just being bombarded. Like I used to get lots of capital letters in my chat. Now it's a Muslim. I've got a resident capital letter commenter. But uh, yeah, bless him. I hope he finds Jesus, the true Jesus one day. Yeah, exactly, and it, yeah, it's, it's interesting to see how people, when they have service on Discord, how they run their show, because a little bit of power sometimes uh, corrupts absolutely, which is a bit of a misreading of the quote, but free speech and all that. Right, let's see what else. Zaki Naik. <gasps> I would love it if Zaki Naik came to this park. I would, oh my gosh. Oh, I would love it. He makes me laugh. He reminds me of like, you know, some families had like a crazy uncle who's just like dancing in the corner at family parties and having conversations with imagining. Like, Zeki and Nike's just gone. He is so embarrassing. It's painful. Um, his exegesis of the Bible. It's really embarrassing. But a lot of Muslims set a lot of standing by his, his words, which is, which is, that's the danger of putting too much store in human beings as opposed to Jesus Christ because Yasser Qadi, Shabir Ali, you know, like people who can be looked up to and their word is taken as half, you know, somewhat law, when they fall, which they will. He is a medical doctor. A.S., yes, thank God you've reminded me. I mean, he is a But, um, yes, medical doctor. Thank A medical doctor who believes that sperm comes from the backbone. You just couldn't make it up. But, yeah, he's a bit of a hero of mine just for the little photo shoot that he did where it was like flames in the background and he was giving all sultry looks to the camera oh my gosh i have to find that i used to play that just to cheer me up sometimes because it's, you just can't watch it without oh cringing and dying inside but laughing yes yeah well this is the thing um and as and as saying yeah well, inconsistencies around jesus abound within sabalian or any modalist um doctrine because because i mean one of one of those groups of modalists who were around in the first first to second century i think it was only like a hundred years after the death of, and resurrection of christ they literally they split up god into three distinct you know like they said that they're living in the time of the spirit and the spirit has told them that jesus is coming back on the such and such in november or what day it was and obviously the day came and went and he didn't come so that put pay to them. But the ones who are not silly enough to give these prophetic whatevers, it makes a lot of the Bible inconsistent. You can't be consistent if you believe 
that at the baptism, it's like Jesus is uh, throwing his voice to pretend to be the Father and doing a little illusion like a magic trick to make the the Holy Spirit look like a dove, and, but it's really not the Holy Spirit because it's really Jesus because it's modalism. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And and in, a, is it the Mount of Olives? Like when Jesus is, uh, before he's crucified, when he's, um, you know, speaking with the Father and pouring out his... Uh, you know his feelings and his fears and all of that it just makes a mockery of that whole entire scene if you're a modalist like what is he doing just sitting there talking to himself for the benefit of the viewers do you know what i mean like what well, if he is the father and the son and the holy spirit like he has the fullness of the godhead in him but that's trinitarian he's not he's not just changing his hat and throwing his voice and putting on a fake beard do you know what i mean be do vids i like some of his stuff I haven't seen that one particularly, John Blake, but I do like some of his vids. Yeah, I don't get enough time to watch vids anymore. I, I get, I am a Protestant free to play. Um, then I thought I'll split them into theological stuff and now I've just got two lists of 200 videos. So it's getting worse rather than better. Um, yeah, I haven't got a denomination, but I am certainly not Orthodox and I'm certainly not Catholic and I definitely am Protestant. I'm not Lutheran or Calvinist though. Hi Bible Outreach. Hi ho. It's off to work, you don't go. Okie dokie. I'm just waiting on JC. Apparently it was five five or ten minutes. That was 45 minutes ago. Unless he snuck in his hiding. I don't know. So yeah, I've already had a laugh with some Muslims. Nice. Nice. It's a good place to be. Free to play. Right, let's have another walk around and another heckle. Why is Ben not at the park? You'll have to ask him. He's in the chat. It's um, like, it's almost as if he has a private life. I don't know. Yeah, he doesn't have to, he's not contractually obligated. Right, there's, uh, I, I'm sure his name's Steve. I can't quite remember that. So, right. Oh, I know. Stuck into you, where you been? Kind of aggressive, but okay. Uh, Joshua's here, so hopefully maybe I'll get to speak to him later. Aha! Uh -huh. Hello, I'm just live streaming, but I'm coming back around Michael in the background. Uh, yeah, still no JC. It's like playing Where's Wally. Oh yes, Catholic and happy. Thank you very much. How very... No condemnation in Christy of you. Oh, yes. Lovely. I'm like that. I don't really care too much about associations and stuff. Obviously, I don't accept a lot of the doctrine, but if you don't get on the subject, you don't get on the subject. And either way, it's not salvific in my opinion. So, obviously, Catholics disagree with that. But, uh, well, one of the popes did, I think. 14th century rings a bell. Anywho. John, again. Right, I think I'm going to end up now, actually, because we've been doing half hour. Half hour for JC's five, ten minutes. I literally called him before I pressed the YouTube button. Absolutely outrageous South American timekeeping. It's just shocking how these like Mediterranean types get away with it. I know, I know. He's not the Messiah. He's a very naughty boy. I've done Josh. Josh jumping in on the Monty Python. I love it. I love it. Oh, there's James SC coming in. In a minute. Yeah, hi, can I book a slot for a 10 minute chat or something? I know you've just looked in, I just like literally rugby tackled you on the uh, Yeah, we all have uh, like diaries and we no, we don't really at all. I just got all over officious. We just got here. You're not missing much at the moment, just a bit of Monty Python esque um, stuff. I'll have a little look around. Yeah, yeah. You're, this guy. Uh, I just. I just 
embarrassing. It's embarrassing. He really doesn't know anything. But yeah. All right, I'll see you soon. Okay, so yeah, I think I'm going to stop so that I can call JC and Remorseless and shame him. Heckle him. No, I'm joking, just so I can see where he is. Um, let's see. Yes, so I won't be doing... Oh, free to play. All right, I'll stay for a minute. I won't be... To, obviously, I won't be doing a stream with Ben on the way home because Ben has just remorselessly, mercilessly just forsaken me. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'll be on a bus uh, or the tube, maybe. But I will do... What will I do? I'll do a premiere tonight again because I quite enjoy them. I like being part of the audience, if that makes sense. I've never really watched most of my videos from the point of view of a spectator like I, that the one that I did last night with um, the premiere uh, the Christian persecution thing with Longshanks and Angelo so I, I really enjoyed it just listening to it as if it was someone else's conversation like um, so yeah I'm gonna put one of me and ha one of me and Hashim is already uploaded just needs to be made public um, because also not to get too technical but YouTube are quibbling uh, in the monetization like application because some of my stuff is originally on Soko even though it's me so either I have to link our Google accounts so that they recognize us as one thing or I just have to re-premiere them like change them slightly and take the originals off and then reapply it's all like technical shizzles really but coffee doesn't grow on trees and um neither does tube fair ben <laughs> no, i'm joking all right then so yeah there's still lots of heckly stuff i'm happy to see uh yeah a couple of friends of mine helping out hatton with some i don't know what they were doing but, oh no i'm telling fibs very solitary i think that goes back to maybe some threats and stuff like that she didn't want people um you know being uh, caught in the crossfire as it were so that's probably a poor choice of words anywho he's took his ladder with him and now he's in the middle trying to draw a crowd bless him he's just heckling i like it i like it okay so hi rory i was just about to go that's how i am I've been waiting for, this was meant to be like a five, ten minute stream because, um, because JC said I'll be five, ten minutes, but you know what he's like, it's always been like that, I don't even know why I listen, never, Ender, how dare you, it's pronounced coffee in English, it's coffee, no, <laughs> no low, <laughs> that cowboy is so not Ben's dad because that cowboy is American and uh, Ben is not and no it's not his dad anyway although I would like it if I lived in a parallel universe where that was true don't hate don't hate it makes you a murderer right now I'm only joking Rory that's fine drink water but the Bible does say do not become a drinker of water only and then it says but take a little wine for your ailments so bear that in mind people it's very important no it doesn't okay so anyone who can't see the live chat at this point is going to be thinking what is she talking about people are making some very odd associations between coffee beans and the car bar and just mm, I'd rather I know which one's juice I'd rather drink let's put it like that uh, that's possibly more disgusting than what I envisioned um, okay no happy South American approaching no Peruvians in the house Oh gosh. Ooh. Sorry, it's me like just trusting in God but also watching my back. How dare you, sir, heckling my siblings. <laughs> yes, yes. Hello, sorry, I've got these people here and you. Right, I'm going to just stop this now because I'm waiting again. Guess who I'm waiting for? You seen JC? No, it's because he said five, ten minutes, like 45 minutes ago. Yeah, no, I'm going to just stop this now so I can... Um, definitely, before we go... Once, I tell you what, 
guaranteed that by the time we get to go for something to eat slash drink, I'm a lot more fun after a gin and tonic. And that's actually true. No, um, yeah, I'll definitely do another live stream before I leave. Promise. Yeah, but Turkey can keep the tea, all the tea in China, move it to Turkey, and I'll just have the coffee. Thank you very much. All right, then. All right, then. I will, uh, I don't know if I'm saying all right like I'm on the phone. I didn't say fire water, I said gin and tonic, but yes, fire water is acceptable also. But the living water is much more valuable. I like Turkish delight though, Ender, so I'm going to end it on that bombshell. All right, God bless you all, and I will see you again very soon.